Hi, I am Lysandra, also known as True One True. I am here today to talk about my home buying experience with Habitat for Humanity. Have you bought a home with Habitat for Humanity? How was your experience? Um, first thing I want to do is clear up the biggest misconception that I heard while I was going through the program. And that is, these homes are not free. Habitat is not giving us anything. Trust and believe. The entire process is a process. And it is not free. So don't get that twisted ever. Now that would truly be the American dream. Okay. Like I was saying, the biggest misconception is that we're getting a free home. And that's just not the case. Not at all. Um, it's not restitution because they would be giving it to me if it was and they're not giving it to me. It's not cheap depending on who you are and what you consider cheap. I don't think it's cheap. My house, it was less than $200,000 but it was more than $165,000. More than $165,000 for the house but less than $200,000. I'll just keep that there. Someone also asked me, um, are you a recipient of one of the homes? A recipient? What do you mean? Am I purchasing a home? Yes, I am. I'm not a recipient. They're not handing me the keys for the hours that I had to put in. With Habitat for Humanity, the process is just like any home buying process. You need to verify your life story, period. You have to have income verification, so you have to bring in your check stubs, you have to bring in your bank statements, um, they pull your credit and verify your credit standing. Uh, there is a minimum score require, requirement. Um, it's over 600. It was less than 700, but over 600 that you needed to have. And, uh, oh my goodness, about me, I hate sharing all of my information. I hate having to, and we had to do this every month. We had to give our bank statements. We had to turn in our uh, pay slips. Um, I had to turn over my tax form, my W-2s, uh, you know, uh, your W-2s. What is the other one that I'm thinking of? You know what I'm saying all of your tax information. I hated it because, oh my God, especially my bank statement. You need it every month. You want to know everything that I spend my money on. I have a lot of <laughs> whatever I have on there. I don't want anybody combing through my stuff like that, but if you want to buy a house, that's what you had to do. So I did it. Um, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. And going through uh, this video and me talking about buying a home through Habitat for Humanity. I'm in my home now, by the way, so you get to see a little bit. And in another video, yeah, I'll take you on a tour. It's a nice, um, nice home. Um, I like it. It works for me. And I bought my home in Chicago. This is where I was born and raised. This is actually my second home. I had a home when I was in my latish 20s. I was married back then. And uh, I was young and I was, you know, once I went through the divorce, I, I don't know, I was just a little scared of keeping and maintaining a house on my own back then. But from having had a home before, I knew some of the things that I wanted and didn't want in a home, and um, so that helped me in this journey. Um, the experience with Habitat, it was a good experience. Um, not without fault, not without error, but nothing's perfect. No one is perfect, but in the end, for me, and I'm only going to speak 
on my videos about my experience. Others may have had a better experience or maybe, you know, a not so good experience. I don't know. But for me and my video, I'm only talking about my experience with my Habitat home buying journey. And that was, again, the first thing I wanted to clear up. Because let me tell you, um, when I told people that I was going to go through the program, uh, program, the home buying process with Habitat, nobody asked, like, real questions. But everybody just assumed. So once I went through it and I did my time, I was like, okay, I'm done, blah, 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 blah. So they're like, okay, so you're done? You only have your mortgage and your uh, insurance to pay? And it's like, what? I wish. No, I have a mortgage, a 30-year mortgage. Oh, well, you could have bought a house anywhere. Of course I could have. But the thing for me that was a deciding factor for me in going with Habitat for Humanity was the fact that I got to buy my house for 0% interest. Did you hear that? 0% interest. And on top of the 0% interest, I got a brand new house built from the ground up. No lies there because I was there from the build, from the bottom to the top. So that is what made me choose to go with Habitat for Humanity. I'll turn to that. Okay, so yeah, I could have bought my house anywhere else. Could have possibly been low interest, 3.5%, 3.25%, whatever. But interest is interest. And anytime you're paying interest on anything, that means you're paying more. You're paying extra. But for me, I'll be paying for my house one time. Can you say that? One time. Interest free. So that was the biggest thing deciding factor for me because right before I decided to go with Habitat for Humanity I had gone through this whole application and verification and approval process with a different uh, a home, low interest home buying program which is called NACA N -A -C -A. Um, and I had got approved already and everything to alright you're approved you did everything you can start looking now. But I kept thinking about this. Keep thinking about a habitat. Kept thinking about that 0% interest as opposed to 3.5% or whatever. Because with NACA, you could buy down your interest. And I'm not here to talk about them, but it's just a part of my journey. Um, you can buy it down as much as you like or to zero. Um, or go with their low interest rate. And you can find your home wherever you want to find it at. Another thing about um, Habitat for Humanity, well, a thing that's different with them, and a thing that has made me think um, after the fact, because there are things that make you think, made me think after the fact. Well, with Habitat, you have to be willing to live where they're going to build. On top of that, um, you don't have a say in the house. Like, you don't have a say on how it's built or have them, can you paint it this color? You don't have a say in anything, really, which I think now, looking back, is that that sucks because, like I said, my home was more than $165,000, less than $200,000, but still a lot of money. And I didn't have a say in anything about uh, the build, nothing. But I had to come out and help uh, going through Habitat for Humanity. Uh, you have to do 200, well, I had to do 250 hours of volunteer time towards the build of my house or my neighbor's houses, or I could also get some hours 
um, at the Restore, which is a part of it's Habitat for Humanity Restore, where you can purchase new and used items for your home, furnishings or hardwares or electrical items, plenty of things. So if you don't know about them, check them out. They do have some good things sometimes at good prices. Um, yeah, so that was something that I thought about after the fact. Having, even though I'm buying a home, I didn't have a say in anything about how it was built. I didn't have a say about where I wanted to live or where I wanted to want it to have the house built or any of that. You have to be willing to live where they build because they target specific areas that they're trying to basically bring back to life. Um, my block where I am is cool and I like it so far. I've been in my home for five months now. So, um, I was stating that, yeah, for me, um, in my process, I had to volunteer 250 hours, even though I did more than that. With my uh, 250 hours, I could have family and friends to help me complete up to 75 of those hours. But as I was going through the process, I didn't even tell any of my family. Um, and the few uh, people that I did tell my friends, yeah, some of them just because... I just told them just because, but some of them I told them because maybe we were having a discussion about something and somebody maybe had mentioned that they were looking into home buying. So if somebody had mentioned and during a discussion that they were thinking about buying a home, then I would say, well, hey, I'm doing this. And so I did it with a few people, you know, if you're interested, you're interested. If you're not, you're not, but I'm not an information hogger. I don't mind sharing information. So if it can help someone, I'll definitely share the information. So I did end up having two of my homies come out and help me. One of them volunteered with me all day, which was about, I think it was like seven and a half hours, seven hours on the bill site. Because when we were on the bill site, we would have to do the whole day. So we were here from, I think, seven to three Something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> but I'm going to say it something like that. Seven to three. So the bill site was all day. If you wanted to volunteer with me and maybe we go to the restore, we can go to the restore. You can help me with two hours. You can give me one hour. Um, but on top of what I did. So if I did four and you did four, for me, I would, I would get eight hours for that day, which was good. So one of my friends, she did one day for me, which was, let's say, seven hours. So it wasn't a full eight. So I'll say, whatever, seven to eight hours. And then I had another friend who came out on the bill site with me. And uh, she, she did three days with me. So she gave me 21 hours plus what I did. So if we did, she did seven for me one day. And then that same day I did seven, I got 14 hours for that day. So that was great. And you know, you get to meet people and ask questions if you're interested in buying the home, buying a home yourself um, with Habitat. Um, what I liked about it was that during the building process, oh, um, I got to work with the people that were going to be my neighbors. So I got to know them along the way uh, during the process. So can see who you kind of really vibe with or maybe not so much <laughs> and I think that's a good thing about habitat because generally with me uh, I never been like friendly friendly with my neighbors like never hung out or anything it may be hi how are you or bye on your way out the door right but these, um, going through the process, you actually get to know some things about the neighbors, connect with them, vibe, and whatever. You know, be like, okay, she's cool. Okay, yeah. Mm, yeah, you know. So I thought that was a good part of the process. Aside from the um, 250 hours of time that we had to volunteer to help build our homes, 
I keep saying our and we and you know, and this is about me and my process. So I only want to speak on me. Aside from doing my 250 hours, and this may vary depending on your Habitat program because they're not all the same. A lot of them have different requirements, different hours, different stuff about the programs. Generally the same, but different things, you know. So this is my experience. Don't go through the process and be like, well, I watched this video and she said, because this was for me, your amount of hours, you might have to do 300 hours, you may have to do 350, you may have to do 400, I don't know. But for me, I had to do 250 hours, even though I did more. That's just because of my kind heart. <laughs> so aside from the 250 hours that I had to volunteer or that I had to do, um, I had to take home buyer readiness classes and there were 12 of those classes, if I'm not mistaken, and they were pretty much every other Saturday. Um, the 250 hours that we that I had to do, I could get them in on Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. Those were the only days that I could, that I could do that. Um, those were the only days offered for me or us to get those hours in, which was fine. Um, and good for me because I work for the school system so I'm off for the summers unless I choose to work or get a summer job uh, so you know during the school season I couldn't be out here on Thursday and Friday because by the time I was getting off of work the site was closing so I could only come Saturday Saturday, so that would make a slow process of me getting my hours done. But because, like I said, I work for the school system and we're off for the summers, I was able to get in there and I was able to knock my hours out. And that's exactly what I did. The classes, um, they were every other Saturday or something like every other Saturday. And, you know, that just was what it was. So... And they were, it was good information, good information, good, good tools uh, to have. On the site, we would have to, eh, not necessarily have to, but because you have sponsors, people help sponsor Habitat, and they want you, can you speak during lunch, tell them about your experience, tell them a little bit about yourself, this, that, and the other, and, a lot of times I did. It was just like, whatever. If it's going to help me get through the process, if it's going to help get some information out there, not a problem. I would do it. Um, yeah. So I just, in this first video, I really wanted to clear up the biggest misconception ever. It's not free. Okay. Okay. It's not free. No one's a recipient of a Habitat house because they're not giving it to us. It's not restitution. They're not giving it to us. It's not cheap. Well, unless you're rich, you may think a house that's less than $200,000 is cheap. But what is your house that costs more than $200,000 going to do that a house less than $200,000 can do? Huh? Oh, I don't think it's going to do anything different. Oh, maybe it will house more people. <laughs> maybe more people can use the toilet at the same time because you might have more bathrooms. Maybe you can, you know, I don't know. But for me, or to me, I don't think it's cheap. Under two hundred thousand, but more than one hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. One hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars is nothing to sneeze at. So yeah, um, we go through everything anybody else goes through during any home buying process. All the verifications, all the clarifications, all this paperwork, and then some. 
we're doing a lot more with Habitat home buying process than you're doing the traditional way. I could have gone that way, but like I said, for me, that 0% interest, it kept hitting me in my head like, you can't beat that. A brand new house, I'll be the first one to sit my in the tub. I love it. But the next video, I'll tell you some other things about the program. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any questions, drop them. Send me a message or drop your questions down in the comments. Comment, follow, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, this is my Habitat for Humanity home buying journey and experience.